approached the Quebec Nordique in the mid-80s, Michel Bergeron, Le Petit Tiger, was the most popular sports figure in Quebec City. Fans loved his candor, his colorful style, and the fact that the teams he coached won over 40 games a year for three straight seasons. For me, coaching in the National Hockey League was the best thing that happened to me. I didn't, I didn't ask how much I was making at the time. I was, I was just thinking being behind the bench with, for the Nordics and uh, money was not a, a big a big deal for me and uh, maybe I was a bad businessman at the time but uh, I really love uh, coaching Quebec. In 1987 Ranger GM Phil Esposito gave Quebec a first round draft choice and a hundred thousand dollars to lure Bergeron to Broadway where he coached the Rangers to the team's best showing in many years. I was walking uh, on Broadway with my wife, and I, I saw the, the Rangers on the board with the, with the name of the coach. So my name was uh, was on Broadway. So it was, I had a great feeling. I'm telling you, it was it was just great. I said, I told my wife, can you believe a little guy from uh, Quebec now coaching in New York? It was a, a great thrill. In his second year as Ranger coach, Bergeron was dumped unceremoniously by Phil Esposito on April Fool's Day with just two games to play in the regular season. When Phil uh, fired me, it was a real big shot. It, it was a sad moment for myself, for the team, because uh, the team didn't win, didn't win after. Bergeron wasn't idle long. Within two weeks, he was back in Quebec. The year I was in Quebec, we we didn't win too many but i said well we're gonna take time we're gonna rebuild the team with the, these uh, young players like uh, joe sakic brian fogarty and all these uh, young players so after the season martin madden uh, got fired as a gm pierre paget got hired and paget fired me Bergeron made an easy transition to the media world, hosting a phone-in show on a Montreal radio station and serving as a color commentator on Montreal Canadian games on TVA. On the radio and TV, I'm doing, I'm doing what I like, talking about hockey. And hockey is still my sport, I love hockey, but uh, also I, I'm still missing the game. I miss the game a lot and uh, I, I miss the competition and uh, I would like some time to be behind the bench again. We're in the second intermission. It's 2-1 to one, Toronto. Molson Hockey Night in Canada on CBC will return in a moment. 